Home prices soar while condo prices dip in Summit's red-hot market. Phil Lindman, Crystal, 93 News. First, one man is in custody after a month-long investigation into ski and snowboard theft in Breckenridge. Police yesterday arrested a 32-year-old Breck resident for allegedly stealing more than 50 pieces of high-end gear, including 10 snowboards and 10 pairs of skis. Most thefts occurred at the Peak 9 base area. Authorities have not named the accused or released the value of that stolen gear. The average price of a home sold in Summit County last month was just shy of $1.3 million, 12% higher than this time last year, and more than double the average across the state. This comes as condos become more affordable. Summit Association of Realtors reports the average sales price of a local condo last month was $556,000, down about 9% from last year. Inventory is also growing. 192 homes and condos are on the market now, 40 more than last February. Authorities in Aspen are investigating how a high school club event turned into an unsupervised party with drugs and alcohol, the third alleged underage rager there this year. The Aspen Times reports a Pitkin County Sheriff's deputy was supposed to supervise that event at Buttermilk, but was reassigned. The deputy's daughter was the event host. Buttermilk employees called police when they found multiple students vomiting and passed out. Earlier this month, a family of three was arrested for allegedly giving booze and cocaine to students. In January, high schoolers were charged with breaking into a hotel to steal alcohol. Four runaway teens were arrested in New Mexico yesterday for a string of alleged armed robberies in three states, including Colorado. Three of the accused are from Nebraska, and a fourth is from Utah. All are under the age of 17. Police say the teenagers fled the scene of an armed robbery in Santa Rosa, east of Albuquerque, and were arrested soon after. While the church discouraged the newest venue in downtown Denver opens with a bang this August, led by the Lumineers, Ben Harper, and Trombone Shorty. The Mission Ballroom in Denver's Rhino District debuts August 7th with the Lumineers. Shows continue through the month at the 60,000 square foot venue with capacity for up to 4,000 people. Tickets go on sale today. Buy online through aegpresents.com. Avalanche danger is moderate today at all elevations in Summit and Eagle Counties. Your problem is deep, persistent slab on all aspects at and above treeline. Forecasters recommend avoiding all avalanche terrain, including slide paths with recent activity. In sports, the Nuggets beat the Celtics yesterday 114-105, to earning a playoff berth for the first time since 2013. Tonight, the Avalanche play the Wild at 6 p.m. And in local sports, brought to you by American Family Insurance, the Weiss Agency, the Colorado Peace Officer's ski title is coming back to Summit County. Last Friday, local deputies and cops raced in Vail for the 46th edition of that ski series, winning the team title ahead of Vail PD in second and Avon PD in third. Sheriff's Deputy Aaron Sirick won the overall win title, Sergeant Mark Watson finished second for men, and longtime paramedic Kevin Kelby took second for masters. In prep sports, boys lacrosse plays Eagle Valley in Gypsum today, their second game there in a row. Girls soccer has Glenwood Springs at home, and boys baseball is on the front range for Centaurus. Phil Lindeman, Crystal, 93 News.